Good morning, YouTube pipe community. OTC Piper here with uh, just a daily vid. Don't have anything too interesting on the agenda today. I just uh, got off work, getting ready to go meet my family out where they're camping with some family friends. And uh, for the couple days that I'll be able to go uh, before I got ready for the 80 mile trip over there, just wanted to get myself a cup of coffee, smoke a pipe, and let the camera roll for a little while. First things first, pour me some coffee here. There we go. I was going through my tobacco, thinking about what I felt like doing today, and I just uh, I felt like a cob. So there's a couple of pipes and a couple of blends that I'm gonna talk a little bit about. Uh, first thing, I just my country gentleman I went into my pipe drawer where I keep all my you know my pipes pulled out my country gentleman that's kind of my go-to cob and then I found uh, then I found another uh, pipe that I wanted to do give me one second I gotta lock this door for my cat claws in Sorry about that, my cat, my wife's cat, my wife and daughter's cat, <laughs> found a way to claw that door, is, uh, it's not latching correctly right at the moment, gets in here and wanders around my workshop, so anyways, uh, there's another interesting pipe that I'm going to talk about uh, in just a few minutes that I kind of did some modifications on. Um, first thing I want to do is talk about the, the blend I'm going to do today. Uh, this is going to be the uh, McBaron Black Ambrosia. This is I got it from uh, my pipe shop here locally uh, by the ounce. Uh, and it's not but uh, bucking some change more per ounce than you would get in the tins online. So it, it worked out pretty good. And get, go ahead and get me a bowl ready. This is uh, the description. It calls it uh, Virginia Cavendish with bright Virginias and fruit essence. I don't know really what that means. If anyone has any ideas, I'd kind of be glad to know. Uh, I have tried this before. Not really a, a blend review, I, I suppose. Um, but I will talk about how I feel about it. It's very aromatic. Uh, re very, very good room note. If you haven't tried it, I would recommend trying it out. Uh, I can't complain too much about uh, anything really uh, with it. Lights very easily, stays burning really well. Do some ash all over me. The other thing, let me set this aside. I got a little flake on it. I don't want to go away. Well, I'm burning this one. I'm going to talk about the the other one first because I'd really like to get to this one uh, before I get too long in the video. With all my cobs. Anyone who smokes, you know, cobs very often knows that stems eventually kind of get loose. Something breaks on them. Something something goes wrong uh, with either the, you know, the the stem. I've had them where, uh, you know, I've, I've you know burn out the bowl. Doesn't happen very often. A lot of people call the cobs a disposable pipe, and I do not agree with that. Because I've had this one for over a year now, and it's it's still going strong. But every now and then, mostly in the stems, you know, uh, I always like to keep some extra stems on hand, but when, when things like that happen, 
I keep the uh, you know I keep stuff um, you know the the components. So you know, for example, I have this one. The stem doesn't really go uh, with it, but you know, if I ever needed a stem in a emergency or whatever, I've got one there in a bowl. And as I mentioned before, I kind of dabble in uh, primitive, uh, uh, you know, methods, you know, pr you know, primitive tools, primitive uh, weaponry, and all that kind of thing. Uh, and I was, I had some locally sourced river cane which if you're not familiar with that it grows like weeds uh, around uh, bodies of water and wetlands and uh, it's a derivative of bamboo so I was uh, cutting some of that down to you know to make some primitive arrow shafts and I got some that were just a little bit too thin and I thought I don't know what really made me think about it, but I was like, you know, I can make a, a pipe insert or something like that with this. So I had a uh, general uh, that something happened to, the, the stem got loose on it or something. I couldn't uh, find it at the time. So I cut a, a piece of the bamboo, or a, the river cane in between the nodes, and I found a, a bit that it seemed to fit right into. Uh, you know rather perfectly I have a little cloth or paper tape I'm going to try to find a, a solution for the cracking that happens because this insert goes in, actually inside and kind of pushes out on it some but it seems to work and this happened to fit perfectly inside of the shank of the pipe and made a very rustic kind of very odd but functional corn cob church warden when I picked it up today, I drew uh, air through it and everything, and I, I was greeted with a delightful ghosting of Latakia, so I'm going to keep that going uh, here in a minute. I'm going to load some of this uh, uh, Balkan Oriental. Uh, it's got some Latakia and uh, some Virginias uh, that I had. I've got just a little bit left. I'm going to try that in that pipe. Anyways, I, I thought it was, I mean, I know it doesn't look, look too pretty, but I thought, you know, it's kind of neat, just something I was tinkering with one day, and that worked out, and so there I have it. But um, I'm looking forward to doing a Yabu. I just placed an order. I watched Meandering Piper's uh, Yabu he just did yesterday, and if you haven't seen it, go check it out. He 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 came up with a, a, just a great haul of of goods. Uh, made me quite jealous actually I saw a lot of good stuff come out coming out of there uh, go over what I've got coming in uh, some of the I guess you pronounce it Suge winter embrace I'm not familiar with that pipe tobacco uh, I did some research and saw that they you know make a few blends of pipe tobacco but mostly pipes and I'll be honest with you it's on sale for four seventy five, so I picked up a can. <laughs> That's pretty much what I know about it. Uh, but I got some of the Stanwell Extra Fine, the John Bull, which is a great uh, pouch variety uh, for uh, for an English blend. Uh, some of the time honored, you know, uh, half and half, you know, America's uh, blend, <laughs> been around forever. Uh, some of the Captain Black Copper, I've always wanted to try some of that. If anybody's had some experiences with that, I'd like to know what they thought about it. Uh, it's one of the newer blends uh, from Captain Black. The Cap the Captain Black Copper. Uh, they were out of the pat the pouch. Uh, I had to buy some uh, just in, in bulk. So we'll see how that goes. i got some Stoka B23 B&B, &B, I think that stands for Burley and Black. Uh, ought to be a good, uh, a good smooth blend, and the Sutliff Virginia Slice. A lot of Sutliff that I've seen it seems like they do a lot of uh, topped tobaccos. I don't really go for topping, uh, you know, anything. And in, in, I mean, I do a little bit. It's not what I gravitate to the most. I know that this that I'm smoking right now is is kind of in that category. But uh, this is just a, v a Virginia Slice that they do. I'm going to give that a try. Uh, so I just, 
it's a small order, but I've got a few things that I haven't tried before that I'd like to give a shot to. I mean, do some, uh, do some reviews. One of the things that is I was getting ready to do my, uh, to map my trip down there. This is, uh, I'm headed down to Tyler State Park here in Texas. It's, a uh, East Texas, uh, State Park. Uh, it's 80 miles. So I figured, well, in 80 miles, I'm gonna have to pass by at least one smoke shop, if not more. So I'd look through the, along the route to see what was available. And right there in Tyler, there is, uh, Let's see, Tobacco Junction is the name of the place. Uh, they're actually they opened up early. I called at seven thirty, and they were uh, they were open. And uh, you know, a lot of times they don't open until later in the morning. And they'll be open until eight o'clock this evening, so I should be able to get in there. I'd like to do a walkthrough if it's not, uh, you know, if they don't have any objections to it, to maybe show. Uh, what the you know what the lounge looks like? I looked at online. It looks like they have a smoke lounge area, some pipes and uh, cigars. I know they have some house blends. I like to see from them kind of what some of their house blends uh, to see about uh, you know what they may have to offer there uh, that may not be available anywhere else. Uh, that way, if anybody you know cares to place an order or or uh, Anything like that, if you're not in this area, might be something you might uh, might look into. And I'll probably get a cigar um, out there, you know, camping. Where I'm going to spend an extended period of time, I'll probably wind up with a cigar or two along with some pipes. I'm going to try to get some uh, video done while I'm uh, there on site. Uh, from what they say, it's just a beautiful place. So I'm looking forward to getting some time away from the city. I'm going to go ahead and load this up while I puff away at this uh, Ambrosia because it's been a while. I, I remember smoking this when I first uh, come up with this little Franken pipe design and uh, I was pleased with the result but it's been a while. Like I say, I got to find out about this blend I'm putting in it. Uh, the guy told me it was uh, Cornell and Deal, but the jar was labeled Balkan Oriental. I didn't find Balkan Oriental as a is a Cornell and Deal brand. If I'm missing something somewhere, someone can correct me on that in the comments. I'd be great. But by looking at what was available by Cornell and Deal, if it was in fact that, uh, it would be the Super Balkan, which is a uh, which after looking at their images of the tobacco, uh, the description and the contents, I would have to believe that it is the Super Balkan. It's going to be a blend of Burley, Virginia, Latakia, Perique, and a touch of Orientals, they say. So one thing I like about it, it I mean, there you can tell by the recipe here that it is it's got a lot to offer it's very complex uh, when you have, I, I enjoy the complex uh, flavors it usually kind of gives you a good explosion of, of flavors and you got to sit back and really think about what it is you're tasting and, and really be able to appreciate the, the fullness of, of what it is but I do enjoy this ambrosia I've got a little bit more uh, more left to go on it. Um, the room note is just spectacular. Mm. Definitely, definitely taste that bright Virginia. It just has fruit essence, and, and I, like I say, I don't know what that means when they say fruit essence and I can't quite put my finger on exactly what fruit they'd be talking about but it is a but there is a sweetness there 
in the whatever the the topping that they were they, that they're using for this. Most of the time, like I was saying before, I like just uh, straight tobacco. Um, I don't go for a lot of aromatics. I don't I, I don't knock aromatics at all. I do have a few that I like, and I'll always try new ones. Uh, but I just I, I tend to I tend to gravitate more towards the uh, the natural flavors of you know of natural tobacco. And part of the reason why I kind of wanted to go this way, the last couple of days I've done some videos with some um, vapors, uh, and I th figured I would uh, change things up a little bit. Uh, but that's kind of you know th th that's just kind of what I as a piper look for is just the just the goodness of the natural tobacco and and the goodness of what it of what it is at its core well once in a while getting some added flavors isn't a isn't a bad deal got a little bit left in that I'm gonna let that cool off for a little bit I may come back to that later on I've got my Franken pipe here loaded up with some of the Balkan Oriental or the Super Balkan I'll go ahead and go with that until I know otherwise. I am going to buy a bunch of this stuff again. I um, have it in a tin. I, I re retreading a tin. Just uh, I took it with me to a mantle at one point. I uh, have a little bit left in there. I'm going to buy a bunch because I do enjoy this and I do want to find out from him exactly what it is to make sure to confirm if it's this uh, Super Balkan. Just for the sake of knowing. Uh, but I know where I can get quite a bit of it. He gets it in quite regularly. the length of this you can really reach out there and see what you're doing mm. well interestingly boy the perique really jumped out at me on that right, first puff usually the usually a perique will sneak up on me I don't know what anyone else's experiences are usually that's something that uh, that you get after the front runner uh, dissipates I don't remember quite being uh, that forward with the Perique. Definitely got a good, rich Latakia in there. Hmm. You know, Burley and Virginia just uh, just rounded out, smoothed it out some. I I really enjoy this tobacco. But this does a very, I mean, this does its job. It, it cools off the smoke pretty good. Um, there's something I'll keep around. I was going to order me another stem for this general. I love the general pipe. I'm going to order me another uh, general. But now that I've kind of got this little contraption made, I'm going to keep this around as, uh, as its own thing. So yeah, it does pretty good. But anyways, uh, anyone into the cob pipes and gets a creative uh, tendency, then uh, you know, there's a lot of things you can <laughs> you can do. enjoy this anyways that's uh, about all I have for this uh, daily vid uh, no I'm just getting getting my page uh, or my channel started uh, so I try to get something out every day um, I may not always be able to keep to a daily vid just uh, it depends on on how how life goes it's the same with anybody 
But I'm trying to get some stuff out there uh, and just be be present in the community. Uh, like I said, I hope I didn't bore anyone too much uh, today. Uh, kind of rambled a bit. Uh, just trying to get something built. I know Rome wasn't built in a day, but I have to believe it was built with persistence. So I'm just, uh, like I say, I'm just trying to get out there and be be in the community. So that's it for the for now. I'm gonna try to get some videos of that smoke shop uh, later on today. I don't know what kind of signal I'm gonna get out there at the campsite. So if I can get it loaded, that'll be good. If not, it'll be once I return home. So. Anyways, I hope uh, the day goes well for everybody. Uh, until we meet again here, here's the piping and two Franken pipes. <laughs>